hello friends welcome back to cp tutorials how are you please tell me in comment section so today we are going to discuss code force around 820 so before moving to our problem i would like to move to a sponsorship part so this video is sponsored by newton school whose link is given in the description box so you can visit the website in this video i am going to explain problem c so now i will move to problem so it is given that polycarp was given a row of tiles so tiles is in the form of a string and it the tiles have each tiles contain one lower case letter of latin alphabet lower case letter latin alphabet so there is can be some tiles with a b c a c d let's say that size is 4 then z a b c in any order they can be z b a c so now so in other words you are given a string s consisting of lower case latin letters so you will be given a string of size n right initially polycarp is on the first tile so polycarp there is some person named polycarp he is standing on the first tile it has some letter written on it right there will be written letter there will be letters written on it so so what he has to do he has to move from first tile to last tile by jumping on the tiles jumping from i tile to j tile has cost equal to index si minus index sg so as you can you know that a is the first alphabet b is second c is third so this is defined as index you can take zero based indexing also or because it is different it's asking for difference so when you jump from any one from other plank other tiles let's say here it is written a here it is c so your cost will be 2 difference of absolute difference of 2 or you can if you jump from c to a again the cost will be 2 absolute difference right so now in other words among all possible weight you have to find the minimum cost and maximum number of jumps so there there will be cost associated with it polycarp has to finally reach start from first tile and reach n a tile this is first and this is n a tile and he will jump he will jump from tiles to tiles in any order in any order and then finally he has to reach n s tile so you will have to tell minimum total cost and there will be there might be the cases where minimum total cost will be there might be cases that different sets of jumps provide you minimum total cost so in that case we will have to tell maximum number of jumps and what is uh, what are the constraints so length of a string must be less than equal to 2 into 10 to the power 5 and print answer will be consist of two lines so first line contains cost and total number of jumps and then you will have to tell uh, so what are the tiles he was on polycarp was on so discussing the first example now i would like to move to first example so there is something like that logic so he has to jump from l to c so what what is the uh, what are what is he doing this is first and then he moved to L2 he goes to I right then after I he moves to G and then move to C so total number of jumps is 4 and total cost is 16 sorry 9 so how total cost is coming L to I he jump so there will be cost then I to G there will be cost and G to C now so C to G D E F G there will be four cost then G H I there will be two cost and I to L three cost four to seven and three nine there are total nine and you may observe something that here yeah, jump from C to G not C to I or I to G G to I then I to L and if you write 
ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच आई एंड यू कैन सी दैट देर इज सी देन देर इज जी देन देर इज आई एंड फाइनली एल तो और यू कैन इन बैकवर्ड सेंस यू कैन सी दैट एल आई देन जी देन सी राइट सो आई वुड लाइक टू मूव टू आवर सोल्यूशन पार्ट सो लेट से दैट समथिंग इज रिटर्न हेयर देर आर टाइल्स समथिंग इज रिटर्न हेयर एंड देर इज समथिंग रिटर्न हेयर लेट से देर इज ए एंड देर इज लेट से पी Now what will be the minimum cost to reach there? I can answer it easily. How? I will show you how. So, if I jump from A to P directly, I will reach, and there will be cost of character P minus character A, right? So this will be our cost. So let's say I have. Now I will consider second case. There is A. There is P, and there is Z. Now, if we take jump from here, then what will be total cost? Z minus a plus absolute of p minus z. So, as you can see, that this has increased our cost. So, let's say that if total number of jumps we don't have to maximize, then the minimum cost will be just jump from first to last. There will be absolute difference, right? If you have to go from, let's say this is position A and this is position B, then you can go through a straight line, and this will be the minimum cost incurred. If this is Manhattan distance or this is or x one minus x two, right? So this is basic mathematics. If you will have to go from, let's say, first point to ten point, then this is on coordinate axis. Let's say you have there is x axis is A, there is a point having x axis A, and there is another point x axis ten. So in distance formula itself, we were using square plus this square modulus x one minus x two square something like that in coordinate geometry. So minimum distance will be or ten minus one. Now this is clear. Now if there is something present in between, let's say three one two three three two seven. Does the length of path increase? Let's say from here to here, this is total length. And now what he will do? He will jump from one to three. He will cover this much distance, then this much, and then this much. So has it increased? No. As you can see that one to three same. Let's say two distance, then seven to three, four distance, and then here it is three distance. And earlier it was nine distance. Again it is nine distance. So you can see that there is some minimum point, and there is some Max point, and you will have to travel via some intermediate path. So, what will be intermediate path? Those that will be lying in order, and in between minimum and maximum. We won't take something bigger than that, right? Else, he has to go to here and then come back. This will increase our length. So, now to maximize jump and minimize cost, what is the minimum cost? So, mean cost will be always. Mod of s zero minus s of n minus one. If you take zero base indexing, right? So this will be our minimum cost always. And how to choose minimum path? So let's say that you have to move from Z to C, or let's say P to C. Now, how you will take hold? Let's say there is F, there is O. So In moving from P, you will have to go in order P to O, then O to F, and then F to C. Right. So this won't increase our path. If we don't follow order, if we go from P to, let's say P to F, then F to O, then you will increase the path. But uh, if you take in order, then uh, path will be same. So you will have to calculate. So now I would like to move to our code. Where is code? So what I did, I stored the index of all alphabet A B C D where it is present in vector vector, right? 
I was told. And then what I did, I would look, let's say, I have been given some B2, F, let's say, cover, and there is D present in between. So I have moved from B to F and put all the index in, in between. This gives me that if B is present, then it will give me B's index over all the string position, B index, then E index, then F index, right? So there will be two cases like first number is, let's say this is first number and this is last number. So this must be smaller or there can be case there, less than F. there will be equality sign. So either take this one where this is A to A, there can be cases like you have to jump from A to A. So in this way you can proceed and finally we will get your answer. So hope that uh, the solution is clear to you. So I really hope that you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you next video. Bye bye.